The SeaTech Flow VPX system works inline directly into your downstream process, creating a measure of control previously unheard of. The Flow VPX system offers low maintenance stainless steel flow cells as well as single use disposable flow cells to tailor to your lab and GMP needs. To scale up to your process, we provide several flow cells of different sizes and uses. There are the reusable stainless steel flow cells available in 3, 10, and 22 millimeter flow path sizes. The 3 millimeter stainless steel flow cell can be connected with your choice of compression fittings, lure, or barbed connectors included with the flow cell. The 10 millimeter and 22 millimeter flow cells respectively require half inch and one inch tri-clamp connectors. We also have available single use flow cells that ensure sterile skid environments for your individual samples. Flow cells use aseptic quick, one half and one inch tri-clamp connectors and are geared towards GMP lab environments. We are happy to work with customizing your instrument to your process, so let us know and we'll connect you to a specialist. In this video, we will go over how to properly load and unload the flow cell from your Flow VPX system. Run the Viper software on the computer by double-clicking the program icon located on the desktop. The console will run calibrations in the background. Before running any processes in the software, ensure the console says ready and the carry 60 power button is green. Enter your username and password in the indicated fields. Click Quick Kinetics to launch the application. Select the flow cell from the drop down method input menu. For this video, we will be selecting the 10 millimeter flow cell. Click the load button from the instrument control menu. Follow the steps prompted on the screen, then click step completed to proceed. Tilt the instrument back so the four alignment posts are facing you. Place a new flow cell gasket on top of the flow cell. Then insert the flow cell into the Flow VPX head. Make sure the flow cell smart pins are aligned with the flow smart input on the Flow VPX head. Place a new flow detector gasket on top of the flow detector so that the guide holes align. Then insert the flow cell detector, viewing window side first. Secure the flow cell detector in the Flow VPX with the four acorn nuts and tighten with the provided 40 pound torque wrench. Tighten in a diagonal pattern to equally distribute the torque. In the software, click Start Detection. Wait for the software to detect the flow cell. Then click Next Step. Return the Flow VPX to the upright position, tighten the mounting post clamp handle. Place and tighten the FX connector nut onto the fiber optical component with the larger diameter hole facing down. Tighten with the provided 12 pound torque wrench until there is an audible click. Place and hand tighten the FC connector nut above the FX connector nut. Once it's tightened, click locate zero. Wait for Viper to find the zero position. Then click next step. Connect the delivery fiber to the fiber optical component by lining up the notch with the keyway. Then connect the Carry 60 detector cable to the detector, making sure it is pointing upwards. Click Step Completed. The Flow VPX system will now collect your transmission test results, then display them on the screen. Once the check is successfully completed, click OK. If the transmission check fails, refer to our general troubleshooting video. Congratulations, you now have successfully loaded the flow cell. To unload the flow cell, first ensure that there is no sample flowing through the flow cell. Click the Unload button on the instrument control. Follow the steps prompted on the screen, then click Step Completed to proceed. First, remove the detector cable, then the delivery fiber, and the FC and FX connector nut from the Flow VPX instrument. Carefully set aside. Then, once everything has been disconnected, tilt the Flow VPX back on the standard mount. Unscrew the acorn nuts from the bottom, being careful to not let the flow cell detector tip forward or fall. Slowly pull the detector and flow cell separately off the flow VPX head.
Remove and discard the two disposable gaskets. Click OK in the software to complete the process. Congratulations, you've now finished unloading the flow cell. For further questions or inquiries, contact us at the following information.